I thought some people would get a kick out of this. This is uh, my own uh, self-created sweatshop here. It's a one-man operation. <laughs> oh, God. Um, $7,000 worth of sewing machines between here and here. This is a Cobra Class 26. You'll notice I actually have uh, a light with a fiber optic head connected to the one light that goes down here and points right down here so I can get a really close up view. So this is a double fiber optic lead. I uh, designed that little hook up myself. These are 138 threads for the Cobra Class 26. I was up to like four o'clock in the morning last night um, cutting these uh, alligator hides and the interiors. I'll show you in a second. So yeah. Yeah, it was about six, yeah, it's about six hours yesterday and I haven't even got to gluing and stitching yet. So that's six hours. So the alligator hides are obnoxiously expensive. They're not even sold by the square foot, they're sold by the centimeter. And then, you know, you need $7,000 worth of uh, industrial sewing machines, which are so heavy if they fall over, they'll kill you. Let's uh, go over here and look. These are the interiors of the wallets here. One pocket, second pocket, interior, back. These are some of the gator hides that I've cut out that are uh, gonna be attached. A couple of people wanted uh, the uh, the tails, which have these minor ridges. So you, you really never see a wallet that would look like that. That's so cool, I think anyway, but here we go. Even Darren Miles, I got Darren Miles piece over here. This is Darren Miles of Darren Miles Photography. His gator hide. Here we go, over here. I made this last night for myself. This is a, a business card wallet. I'm doing this one-handed here, as you can see. There we go. What you think about the business card wallet? There we go. I wanted mine to look like this. That's just some cotton right there, that white stuff. So I have some patterns hanging on the wall. This thread is huge. Here's uh, all the other stuff I need to do. When I get done making the wallets and sewing together, I need to whip out the Dremel tool and you sand off the edges and you have all this uh, leather dust jumping up into your face, for which I have to wear a mask. I have pieces of leather over here cut out out of alligator for making business card wallets, which I'm gonna make like next week. Like I made for myself, all this thread over here. This obnoxiously horrible barge cement that I need to use, which is really potent and obnoxious to smell. And all this um, thread back here. Look at the bobbins. That This is the world's most powerful leather sewing machine. And look at the size of the bobbins and the size of the thread that it takes. Yeah. And here we go. Here's the pedal operated monster, the Cobra class four machine. By the way, this is what this machine is capable of sewing through. I mean, look at that. I mean, you talk about thick. That is a lot of thickness of leather. It's three quarters of an inch, essentially. So. Yep, yeah, there's that. And then when I get done sanding it, then I need to uh, take a beveler, which I have a beveler over here somewhere, and uh, edge coat it. It's an edge coating tool, and yeah, my beveler's over there. I have to bevel the edge, sand it, bevel it, then I grease it up with this magic stuff. I'm literally, after I make the wallets, I have to massage it with, I don't have to, but I go to all the steps, massage it with this stuff. Obenhoff's heavy LP. So, yep. This is what I was doing till three, three or four o'clock in the morning last night. Cutting out all these pieces. This is the backing. This stuff is $14 a square foot. This is the finest leather that money can buy from making wallets. The absolute finest, the most expensive too. So there we go. This is my own private sweatshop. I, uh, I hope you enjoyed this tour Let's see here yeah a bunch of leather working tools down there and there's my cobra class 26 and 
There's a bunch of tools over there. This one takes a much smaller bobbin. And, uh, I saw the wallets up here, some of them. I have to make these sewn on the class four. But, uh, yep, there we go. Hope you enjoyed this fascinating tour of my uh, self-induced one-man sweatshop. <laughs> this machine is a beast. This is reverse, this is forward, it's adjustable. You unscrew the nut here, you're ready to go reverse, to tack it, there you go. Here's the bobbin winder here. This machine is incredible, and you actually look in the inside of it, the inside gears, I mean, just these enormous, beefy steel gears. They're like the inside of a John Deere tractor. I mean, this sucker is just, just a friggin' monster. Thanks, and goodbye.